Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld. So we have a mech cluster and the high shield is currently offline for like 11 hours recharging. I have Kieran and Asha on their way to the mortars. Um, so we're gonna anger these mechanoids and we're not gonna get into position. We're actually, we have these doors open. They're connected to this switch. Um, we have a shield up here. We're gonna see if our weapons can kind of like hold these guys off. And then if they do make it into our little like trap maze, uh, then I'll call for some folks to come over here. Um, we are at three sh like three of the kind of like medium sized or smaller shield generators right now. Like, we'll see if we can get this destroyed. Uh, just a little damage on it. Um, we are in flight on building some smaller shield generators. So these guys are portable. Um, so during our last couple of raids, we got like mortared pretty severely. I think we've lost more than like one ship. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm figuring we can like load these up and deploy them to kind of like protect our ship from the mortars. And then we'll just like beeline for the mortars or do like a bombing run on the mortars and hope that that's enough. Um, while we're kind of like shooting off at these mechanoids though, I did find a new mod. I avoid looking at the workshop like when I'm in the middle of playthroughs because I know that I'm just going to want to add everything. Um, but occasionally I'll take a peek. Um, and you know, I think, uh, early on we added a couple extra mods. Um, I added this guy as well. I know you guys have seen it. I haven't talked about it, but it's a magnetic shield to protect us from solar flares really low power usage when it's idle, but it jumps up severely fast and creates a lot of heat. Um, power wise, we're like, okay, when our wind turbines are even just like half running, but when the wind dies down, ooh, here we go. Okay, so the scythers are making it in. Oh, the tesserons, their laser beams can make it through our shields. Um, let's get some folks into defensive positions. I don't think everyone has them, but like most of them do. Okay, so yeah, we're taking out quite a few. See if these guys, since they're ranged, if they'll just like hang back and play with our play with our turrets. Um, but. I did find another mod that um, I added that fits in with our Mandalorian play theme like perfectly. So as soon as we like down these mechanoids, we will take a look at that. Okay, so just the centipedes left, and I think the centipedes are just gonna hang out here and get obliterated. So I'm gonna release all these guys. Ooh, you are. And how are we doing over here? We've hit it like maybe twice, uh, which is fine. What is it? It's smoke spear. The only like, we don't really care too much about the stuff that's growing outside. Uh, it'll grow just like a little slower, but it'll keep growing. Our main food production is um, in here. So just the two centipedes left. And you're almost down. These guys, yeah, these guys have range. So we're gonna replace these military turrets with more laser cannons. Yeah, cool, we're solid. So let's get everyone back to, you guys can go a little bit more broad. Um, mechs, you guys can also go a little bit more broad. Uh, and then this, ooh, nice, took, took some guns out. Um, this is up in six hours. I don't think we're gonna destroy this. So we'll just like, oh. Like, Asha didn't even make it. Um, okay, whatever. Um, we can, if we need to, like, build some EMPs. So let's get that queued up, maybe. Um, we'll build a shelf just for EMPs. Clear EMP. Um, and then let's take a look what's allowed in you. We're just going to allow high explosive shells in both of these guys. And we'll build another turret that's specifically just for EMPing. Um, that being said, I kind of, I kind of just want to leave this here. Um, you know, raiders will be lined towards it. This 
this problem causer isn't a big deal. This is going to be making some mechs. What is it going to be making? Pikemen? So they're just going to like wander in here and get like lasered down. So I'm not too concerned about that. We'll keep everyone close. And then once this guy is done producing mechs, we'll make a zone to keep everyone away from that and let everyone wander freely. So anyhow, the big update on the mod that we added, we're... We'll keep the Razor Crest. We're gonna get rid of the Sheathapede. We had one that we were building that I canceled because I found Mandalorian ships. So let me show you guys on the workshop. It's uh, this mod, Mandalorian ships. So it's an extension for SRTS and it has the, um, has the the gauntlet fighter so this will be like our troop drop ship and then um it has some uh fang fighters so i assume that we're going to be able to do like bombing runs with those and so i think when we go to attack the empire what would be like super neat is to um come in with our troop drop deploy some shields to protect it and then have a wing come in and do a bombing run hopefully like on their mortars um, or whatever kind of artillery that they have. Uh, and then we'll just kind of like go out and clean up any other artillery that might be trying to destroy our ship. Uh, but then we'll, we'll, we'll do the thing. We'll destroy the camp. We do need synth thread to build a lot of SR yet our SRTS ships. And I looked at the recipe for these guys. They take a massive amount. Um, so we're researching that. You can see that's a huge project, uh, but that'll be our goal for this episode is, um, getting us proper Mandalorian ships like under construction. So, um, off screen, uh, you know, we'll keep this guy around so we can do a bunch of trading. Um, we will, because we'll probably need tons of silver. I'm not even sure where we're at on silver right now. We have 6,000. That might be enough for like one gauntlet, but I, I want to build like a whole wing of the fighter ships. And ideally we'd have them stationed on our capital ship once we get that built. Um, other things that I've been thinking about is like our power situation. It's all right. Uh, as soon as like, even with these wind turbines, just at like half wind, um, it's fine. But as soon as like the wind dies down completely, we are running on a deficit. So, uh, when it comes to our power options from base game and vanilla expanded, uh, this is what we have researched. We pretty much have like all of that stuff on the map and we could put up another tidal generator like here um because it's out of area for that one that gets us another like 2200 power and from a hyper hypertext perspective uh we do have a power menu down here and we have this light fusion reactor and it will feed off of the t-bona gas network for fuel so let's put one of those down it does require 900 dura steel um, but we have a Durasteel um, deep drill set up right here. So all of this is Durasteel. Like each one of these shells is like 300 or cells. Um, so I think we'll be good on that. The other option that we have is this fusion reactor. So I'm curious how much power this guy will produce. These advanced geothermals produce 5,200. Um, and this, this bigger fusion reactor does require a geothermal vent um, but it is you can see 150 hypertech components 3200 durasteel so we're gonna have to find a lot more durasteel before we can build one of these guys but we will get one built at some point um, that way we can see how much power it produces i'm not sure if this will require tabana gas as well but we can just run the pipe network over anyhow um i'm gonna get started on kind of some of our objectives for the for the episode and we'll come back when we've made some progress okay we're back um we just had another mechanoid cluster land this one also has a high shield and thankfully we do have this guy built so we are ready for busting that high shield let's hold fire here um and let's take a look at our numbers who else is really good at shooting Kieran Amilla. Okay, Amilla, you're right there. Let's have you man the EMP. We're gonna have all of these fire at this one. We are acting more aggressively for this one because it does have the auto mortar. Um, so let's take a look at where you're at. Uh, progress wise, we are building a six shield generator. We just need some advanced components. We have uh, five of them right there. So um, we are 
doing pretty well on that front. Mad Zebra, Cat Fandas in labor. Let's, um, oh, just like dropped everything. Um, let's have you get to the hospital. Okay. I think that might have been the EMP shell. We're eating it at the wrong one. Um, okay. All of you guys target this guy. And as soon as she fires, we will allow fire on these two. Ooh, did it a little too early. Didn't take out the shield. Wait, is this covered by the shield? Um, where did that next shield go? There's the high shield, yeah. Ooh, our shields. It's hitting our shield. Um, can you... Outside a loud area. Um, oh. Zone. Walls. This should be included. That was our old kill box. That's why it wasn't included. Okay. Interesting, though, that, like, our EMP didn't take our shields down. Um, so these work a bit differently then. Okay. Uh, everyone except Kieran, Asha, and Amilla. Let's get you guys drafted. And, well, let's do this for anyone that doesn't have a spot. And then... Okay, they have reinforcements coming in. This guy is... Initiates in eight days. But it's half dead. Uh, okay, we do have some turrets down there. Who is... Let's get you guys down here. Anyone else that doesn't really have a spot? Minties, let's get you down here. Wait. Like, it shouldn't matter that it's outside your allowed area. Okay. set you guys up as like the south the southern crew um let's have you go there you go there uh, and vance we can have you join this group down here Auto mortar is still there. These testerons are taken care of. Um, these guys. Let's have you like move in. Brock, let's have you move in also. Shields. There's like a little bit of plasma sword, but our turrets might be able to take most of that out. Okay, you guys are good to go. Let's have you guys undraft. Uh, actually, well, there are guns over here, so we'll see what we can do with mortars. Let's have you hold fire. are just like missing real bad 
Let's maybe there. Ooh, they took out this wall? Yeah, they did. Um, set radius, maybe we increase that a little bit. Oh, I think our shield is down. What is the pipe network should be like releasing heat, right? Is plasma needed? Power needed. We're good on power. Let's have these guys just like go ahead and come in. So doors should be shutting. Okay, we just need like one decent shot on that auto mortar. And we'll have you not hold fire anymore in case that shield comes back up. Oh, um, auto mortar is down. You guys are good. And we just have a few mechanoids left to deal with, so a pikeman, a couple centipedes. And these guys are hurt pretty bad. They're moving really, really slow. threat dealt with. We'll put everyone back on this zone where they're avoiding the mech clusters. I did increase it to have them avoid this newest one as well. And we'll get back when we have a little more progress going. Okay, so progress-wise, we did finish Synth Thread, so we're starting on the Mandalorian ship research. Definitely not going to get those built. I looked at the Synth Thread recipe, and it is wild. It is 5 cloth, 5 wool, 10 chem fuel. We have no wool, um, and so we need to make sure that we aren't um, using wool for anything. And I think we're going to have to go do a bunch of trading. But... Um, the colonists are gathering for a wet wedding, so I think it's Oni and Angus. Um, so Angus was that rando that we picked up at one of the um, bases that we destroyed. He was like a prisoner, but he was already our faction um, and our ideology. So I gave him like a clan color. Um, I think, yeah, like pretty close to his favorite color. And then Oni, where did you go? Oni's been part of the colony for a little bit. Um, once they're married, we'll get her switched over to the clan color as well. And hopefully, no interruptions. So, we'll take a look and see how this goes. Okay, there they are. yeah they're celebrating i think a good way to end the day and we'll come back hopefully with our research finished um, and after a bunch of trading to get stocked up on wool and synth thread um, as always thanks for hanging out with me hope you guys enjoyed it until next time have a good one bye